Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is it. The final level of World 8. 8 dash castle? Bowser's castle? I don't know, it's a different symbol. I would say it's 8 dash Bowser's castle. Oh no, I just realized. This will be the last time we hear the awesome music. So let's take it in while we can. Whoa! Well, that was not good. I guess I can go back for my ice flower then. <laughs> can you freeze the potaboos? Well, you can get rid of them. Uh, does it... Yeah, you can't get rid of them, like, completely. Hmm. Interesting. I never tried that before. I don't know why. Uh, let's see what's in that box for the heck of it. Just to, you know, prolong the uh, awesome music. <laughs> uh, but it's only another ice flower. I'm going to... What's in here? P-Switch. P-Switch! Is this something that I want? Is this something that I need? Well, it helps me get across there. If you don't do that P-Switch, you have to uh, find an invisible block to get up near that other fire bar. You just have to hug the wall and uh, get up there. Yeah! Oh, I love the music! And that was really close there. <laughs> Um, oh, the first star coin is coming up soon. You have to ride one of these platforms downwards to it, like this, and then climb up on the other platforms. These are really slow falling. It's like they defy gravity, yet they still... Maybe they're like light as a feather or something like that. I guess we shouldn't question the platforms. Uh, that platform right there that I just went down, you have to time yourself not to get hit by the fire bar, which can be pretty tricky, especially when you're just getting the hang of these platforms to begin with. So that may take you a few tries to get through that without any hits. This next section's really fun, and also a very, very, very rare thing in side-scrollers. A downward scrolling area. Um, you've got these falling platforms, and they are your only safety for this area. So you got to make the best use of them you can. Um, try and get yourself over to that right side next to that fire bar. Fire bar, excuse me. Because there's a coin over there, and... Uh, oh, I knew I was going to take it there. I just knew it. That's okay. And just keep yourself up there as long as you possibly can. Uh, use the platforms. Try and stay on a platform before you go to the next one for as long as you can to prolong how long you can stay on the platform. Because as you see, there's a limited amount. Anyway, that's coin number two. Whew! Coin number three is coming up. There is a fire flower there, and we go through the gates to hell. Okay, it's maybe it's, it's not like that at all. And you end up at this really weird corridor with these fireballs. This is a really classic thing in Mario games. That you have to dodge fireballs during a or down a straight corridor. This isn't hard to do at all. If you really want to be careful, you can duck in those. Uh, holes in the floor like that, and you won't have to worry about the fireballs, but, uh, holy cow, it's Bowser. <laughs> I never would have expected that, and it's a classic Bowser battle, and you, of course, have to get underneath him when he jumps up to hit that switch on the other side and bring the bridge out from underneath his feet. You should know how to do this if you've played Mario games before, especially the first one, where it's pretty much the main boss battle of the game, and oh, would you look at that, it's over! <laughs> and that's the game! Well, uh, yeah! Hope you enjoyed World 8. Yeah! Well, let's go rescue the princess! Huh? Yeah? What the? Kamek! What are you doing in the cage? Oh my god, don't you dare Oh, <laughs> Hmm. Oh, looks like it didn't do anything. Ah! Look at that, his, his roar blows you back. Anyway, this is the final battle! The, you can't harm him whatsoever until you get to the very, very end of this obstacle course-like thing. So it's basically a survival test for you. And you have to use his fireballs to break your way through these walls here. Try and get him to direct his fireballs higher than you, because it's kind of hard to jump over them in tight quarters. So, and that's basically the boss battle! I have to say, this is one of the most epic boss battles I've ever had. And, 
yes, the final star coin is indeed in this final boss battle. <laughs> that's that's pretty creative, I have to say, because because the stage actually doesn't end at the boss battle. You know, you know how normally in platformers or side-scrolling platformers, excuse me, that the stage is pretty much over after. Ah! Oh shoot! I fell! No! <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, as I was saying about the stage, usually when you get to a boss in the final stage, the stage is pretty much over. You know, you have to collect everything before you get to that boss, but in this case, the stage continues on during the final boss. Anyway, you're going to want to hit this if you're Big Mario to get a propeller mushroom. This is a huge, huge help in this final boss. Trust me on this. Uh, well, then again, it's a huge help anywhere. <laughs> um, in this section, you have to avoid his fireballs on these moving platforms while avoiding the waves of lava, like in that other stage, the other eight, World 8 stage, whatever that was. Oh, poopers! <laughs> uh, yeah, the lava is, again, a one-hit kill. Uh, just try and keep ahead of Bowser. Keep your cool. Don't let his ginormous self intimidate you. You must make it to the princess. You must get the pussy. You must do it. You must do it. Do it for Sonic the Hedgehog. Saturday AM anime. And uh, I didn't want to go up just yet over there. And oh, 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 this is missed time. This is missed time. That's bad. Duck under here. I don't care if I take a hit. Oh, I took a hit. That's okay. There's the princess. Hit the switch. It's over. Someone pulled the cork out of the drain. That was me. I'm sorry, Bowser. I have to say, that final boss battle. Epic. I mean, just think about it. In in Bowser's desperate attempt to get Mario, he becomes ginormous with help of Kamek, and in his desperate rage, he's destroying his castle, doing anything in his power, to get rid of Mario, to end his life. But he still failed. <laughs> Yay! Where the heck is the lava in this area, and where, how are those plants growing now? There was no plants growing around Bowser's castle! Hey there, Ouija! Oh, you're such a gentleman. Too bad we're leaving you behind! <laughs> Only room for two in the bedroom, Luigi. What secret world? Could it be that World 9 that I spoiled, like, right in the very first part of this walkthrough? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's it! these blocks on the credits here to get a bunch of coins, but uh, that's really all there is to it. You can just break these blocks like any other block in the game. They contain different things, and uh, yeah, these are the credits. <laughs> you should know how the credits work by now. I mean, come on, if you've played a game before, you there's always some sort of credits. You know, you gotta credit the awesome game designers who, you know, without them, this walkthrough wouldn't even be possible because I wouldn't have a game to make a walkthrough on. In other words, this game was not made by me, it was made by all these people who I'm dismantling, as you can see, just for the sheer amount of pocket change, uh, for no reason whatsoever. If you've got other players, as you can see, they can also join and uh, join have a little competitive battle during this credit sequence. But, yeah, that's really all there is to this. Um, 
as I said, this game, really awesome, definitely worth buying if you don't have it already. Uh, I assume that you already have it because, you know, you're watching a walkthrough on it. That's the whole, that's the whole point of a walkthrough, in my, uh, you know, in my opinion, is to, you know, get help on the game if you need it, or, you know, if you already beat the game, you're just watching it for entertainment. So, in other words, you already have the game, or at least I hope you do. If you don't buy it, I highly recommend that you do. So, yeah, this is really all there is to the credits here. Got a nice jumping song here, and I forgot to mention, on that final boss battle with Bowser, obviously, the last song is also quite epic. Gotta be fitting to the final boss battle. Uh, I never went through the ceiling. What happens if I go through the ceiling here? What'll happen? Oh, I just plop right through it, okay. That's what. That's kind of what I figure. Cause I, I wouldn't expect that you could die or, you know, like, lose your place on this bonus area of sorts. I don't even know if these coins, like, even counts for anything, honestly. Um, like, if you're getting extra lives or something like that in the main game, I don't think these even count for lives if you, uh, um, get a hundred coins in here. I guess we're gonna see! I mean, I'm bound to get a hundred coins by the end of this, right? At least I hope I do. Oh, Mario's humping the block! Well, okay, he's kind of like sitting on the block and he's bouncing up and down. His uh, plumber booty is very firm and soft, and that's how he gets all the ladies, that's how he's able to do that. You know, stuff like that. It's, the ladies like his firm rump. It's like a ripe peach. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm kind of getting into too much detail about Mario's uh, appendages here, so I should probably change the subject. So you got some dancing toads off to the side here, along with Luigi. It's I always found it kind of funny that they didn't use other characters besides Mario and Luigi in this game. I mean, there's a lot of other Mario characters they could have used. Why Mario, Luigi, and two toads? Why, I mean, why the toads? That's what I'm saying here. I mean, I guess the toads are okay. I know they can hold their own, but they just seem kind of generic in comparison to the other Mario characters. Oh, boy. Yeah. Just saying. And, uh, yeah, that's it! Hey, how's it going? That must be the aftermath after Mario beat up his kids and Bowser. Yeah. A lot of child abuse going on in this, uh, <clears throat> walkthrough as well in this game. Uh oh. Oh! Whoopsie! Looks like his castle went down on top of him. And there's World 9! Which I'm going to be starting in the next part. So I think I should probably end it off here. Uh, yeah, it takes me right back to the title screen. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we start World 9.